One second, I'm coming. your mouth or I'll kill you Haystack, but what else can I do? Let's hear what the others think. It's me. No, that's why I'm calling. I've searched half the ship, and I still haven't found anything. I'm well aware of that, but further problems have arisen. Yeah, I hope so too. We're running out of time. And we're going to need a small miracle to ensure the whole thing doesn't end in a huge catastrophe. Okay, I'll get back to you as soon as I have any news. You have, but what? Later. Now, first we need to... Oh my god! It's all true! Sam, no funny business, or I'll bump you off in the spot. What's going on? Sam?
kill him or take him alone. Take him. We can always off him later. Islands, a paradise for sun-loving tourists. For us, the island holds quite another fascination, the Cumbre Vieja Volcano. The brittle western slope of the volcano is covered in clefts and fissures where water has collected. And now for the interesting part. By placing several bombs in carefully calculated spots, we can use thermonuclear explosions to heat that water so that it will evaporate instantaneously. If you had paid attention in your physics classes, you would know that such a sudden evaporation of water would create sufficient pressure to shatter the volcano's brittle slope and send it crashing into the sea. Can you guess what comes next? That's right, a tsunami. Waves 200 meters high will charge across the Atlantic with the speed of an airplane. The tsunami will sweep across the east coast of the United States. New York will disappear in an apocalyptic flood, taking with it the self-proclaimed rulers of the world who are currently squabbling in blind incompetence at the UN headquarters. The resulting vacuum of power will be filled by our followers, some of whom have been biding their time in key positions for decades. They will take control and lead humankind to a new golden age. Oh, this is the life. Blue skies, sunshine, the ocean, cocktails. And, last but not least, me, the man of your dreams. Right. Don't you think a little thank you might be in order? Thank you? For what? Well, who just saved your butt for you? Not to mention the rest of the world. Hold on. If it wasn't for me, you'd still be languishing in Shelton's moldy old cell. Yeah, yeah. And who rescued you from the tower when the bomb was ticking? Well... Okay, maybe you did contribute a bit to getting us through this thing alive. A tiny little bit. <laughs> what an ungrateful world we live in. Don't worry, you're still my hero. Finally. I was starting to think I'd have to wait forever to hear you say that. Oh, Max, the important thing is that we're both here now. Far away from any trouble. Yes, it was about time. No stress, no urgency, no disasters. And no other women. Sam? Don't worry. She was never serious competition. I've forgotten her already. I should hope so. And now let us just enjoy the peace and quiet. Shall I get you another cocktail? What a wonderful idea. I'll have a sea breeze. Coming right up. <laughs> 